Hi, this is Laura Chappell, and I'm going to take you through the process of doing an update and an upgrade of a new Raspberry Pi system. So we've imaged the micro SD card and we've put it into our Raspberry Pi. When the system boots up, in the upper right hand corner, you'll see an icon with two red X's on it. And that indicates that we're not connected to the wireless network at this time. There's no network connection. When you click on it once, you can select Turn on Wireless LAN. Now, just because we turned it on doesn't mean we're connected to the wireless network. So we need to click it again to select the wireless network that we want to connect to. Once you do that, you may be prompted to enter your wireless network password. So I'm going to enter in my password and when I'm done with that, I'll click connect. In the upper right hand corner, we get a notification that says we're connected to the network and it gives us our IP address. In the upper left hand side, I'm going to click the web browser icon to launch a web browsing session using Raspberry Pi's Chromium. When you open the browser, it will take you by default to the raspberrypi.com website. If you just want to check it on your own going to a different website, just click on adding a tab and type in a new website and I'm just going to use google.com let's say. And yes, it does look like we have connectivity. It looks good. I can close this down. Now we're ready to do the update and the upgrade process. This might function automatically. You might get prompted to do an automatic update in the upper right hand corner, but I'm going to do it manually. I'm opening a terminal window and typing in sudo apt update. It will go through the update process, which is relatively quick. And when it's done, I'll be ready to go through the upgrade process. I'll type clear, to clear this out, and then type in sudo apt upgrade this time and hit enter. Now it's going to tell us how much additional disk space can be required for this and I'll click yes, click Y for yes to get this running. Now this process on a Raspberry Pi 5 can take six minutes, eight minutes, something like that. So instead of just waiting around for this, I'll go ahead and skip ahead in time and then I'll finish up by giving you a quick tip. We're now at the 98%, 99%, it's almost done, and now it's finished. Great. So my Pi is updated, upgraded, and I want to just give you a tip for working with terminal windows. There may be times when you want to have a lot of terminal windows stacked on top of each other, and the default size of the terminal window just isn't, isn't right. You don't want to have to keep resizing all the windows so you can stack them. So if we open up a terminal window, and we go to edit and then select preferences. On the menu, when we click on display, we can define what the default terminal window size is going to be. So I'm going to set my default to 70 by, let's say 15 and click OK. Now when we close this terminal window that we're in, when we open up new terminal windows, and I'm clicking the terminal window button six times to open six terminal windows, they all open up with a new size and this just happens to be the, a great size for when I'm stacking three terminal windows on the left hand side and three terminal windows on the right hand side. So it's just, just the right size so I don't have to go through the process of resizing each one after I launch them. So our Pi is updated, the Pi is upgraded, and we know a faster way of creating multiple stacking terminal windows.